Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Fuse is about these four characters who join up and kill people with cool looking guns. And this little trip of theirs, they get trapped by this ninja looking bad people guys who are like destroying the world or something along those lines you have to stop them because you're the good guy also there's a bunch of bantering between the main characters because well that's what they have to do to keep it fun i guess the gameplay is third person shooting little platforming with lots of shooting that, that's the whole game each character has their own special gun and then later get special power it's something you would expect from Insomniac because they like to mix and match um, special powers and guns and all that stuff. Kind of like Ratchet and Clank or Resistance. Um, you'll basically uh, get to choose different characters in single player, just switching on and off so you can try all the different powers. Or just picking one that fits your gameplay style if you decide to do some co-op. It's this shooter from Insomniac, the minds behind Resistance and Ratchet and Clank, worth picking up. Or is it a dud? Well, we're gonna find out. Your father's a real prize. He got us out, didn't he? Come on, I'd rather not be. Which final man ain't got to shake your head? Get that sound check. Put it in pockets to like it back. I love the look of some of the weapons, from turning them into black crystal looking things to making a vortex of hell to even building a cool little shield around you like the matrix these special weapons and powers make the game quite fun to look at when blasting up baddies game can be tough too which is kind of nice in a shooter nowadays unless i play it on hard or i'm not sure if i played it on hard i think i played it on normal but i was dying quite a few times or at least going down and it also could be because the ai really sucks i'm gonna get to that in a little bit it's pretty long. Each level is a minimum of like one hour, usually closer to two. So if you're looking for content, you'll definitely get it here. Plus it has a level up system, kind of like an RPG, but it doesn't really work all that well. It's a co-op game, so it's four players. So if you have some buddies, let them join you because it's a lot more fun. Or so I hear, because no one I knew had this game, so I couldn't play the co-op, so fuck me. Come on. Just once. To climb if you didn't insist on wearing 80 pounds of the game's first bad is the genericness of it. Sure, there's some cool weapons and powers, but it's very generic. A story that you'll fall asleep through, but it's just boring. The awesome art design from the first title or the first trailer is gone. It's replaced by this realistic looking world that's boring to look at. What happened to that cool cell shaded kind of look from the first trailer? Even the levels themselves are boring to go through. The objectives for the levels are very same-ish. Throw enemies back until you kill them all, collect a power knob thingy and put a machine to move on. It's just very straightforward and it just keeps going on forever and reusing the same ideas to move on through the levels. Controls can use some work. Most of the times it's not bad, but relying on Y for everything to grab or touch is pretty hard to pick up certain weapons and just kind of annoying. Also, you stick to walls oddly. Sometimes you go off of them for no real reason too, even though you are moving. It's, it's kind of just doesn't make sense. The ugly in this game would be the AI. It's pretty fucking awful. I mean, shh, these guys are brain dead. They will stand there for like six seconds while you're, you're, you're down and you're like, come heal me they're like oh hey that's my partner he's dying and I'm like yeah asshole I've been dying so help me Not that Fuse is a bad game. Look at the puggy. Puck. It's that Fuse doesn't use any of its strengths to its extreme. It has these cool looking guns, but they're not super fun to actually use. Um, 
it 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 had a really cool art design and then it changed this generic thing it has a lot of content but it's not really that fun to play it's just generic and it, it it has a level up system but it's not a very good level up system so you see it has good things but a lot of bad things is this the worst game i played no is it serviceable yeah is it fun and co-op uh, probably like i said i had nobody who played it because nobody has it but yeah it, it seems like it could be a fun co-op game every once in a while but this game just screams to me anyway rent at best there's really nothing worth buying here you know ea has now taken away the online pass so you don't have to buy it and really there's no reason and somebody definitely has put out better the last ratchet and clank was even better i like the little crappy kind of tower defense anyway the point is that there are better games from Insomniac, including Resistance and some of the Ratchet and Clanks released this generation. So I'm, I'm very disappointed. doesn't come through. It could be fun. But in, in honesty, it, it's the perfect title when I'm thinking, this is generic. This is what that is. So, better luck next time, I guess. Um, but yeah, rent it if you want some co-op fun or you want to go through a shooter. But there's too many other games coming out that really they are worth your time more so than this i'm also wondering why in the blue hell why okay i really have nothing funny to say this time it's just, that's this game has generically turned me into generic mode and i have nothing to say i'm sorry pug power if you would like to support my book easily just go on amazon.com type in exterminators infected and either pick the ebook or the paperback and purchase. Thank you very much for the support, it means a lot.